So God bless you and thank you for joining me today. We're going to talk about something controversial. There will be people that won't like this. It's okay. You don't have to like it. I'm just going to share with you what scripture has to say. So we're going to start with Mark chapter 5. And you know the story. This is of the demoniac. And so it says when they got out of the boat, it says immediately a man, a man, single, a man out of the tombs with an unclean spirit met them. And it says that he lived among the tombs and no one could restrain him. They had restrained him with shackles and chains, but he wrenched um, the chains and the shackles broke into pieces. So we're going to go down. That was sort of a paraphrase. We're going down to verse six. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and bowed down before him. And he shouted that at the top of his voice, what have you to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I adjure you by God, do not torment me. For he had said to him, come out of the man, you unclean spirit. Then Jesus asked him, what is your name? He replied, my name is Legion, for we are many. He begged him earnestly not to send them out of the country. So why are we talking about that? It was a man who had many demons. There were many. So it goes on to say, and the unclean spirits begged him, send us into the swine, let us enter them. So he gave them permission and the unclean spirits came out and entered the swine and the herd numbering about 2,000 rushed down the steep bank into the sea and were drowned in the sea. So, there is a man with multiple demons, and the demons are plural. They call themselves something plural. Send us. You probably already know where I'm going with this. Okay, and so now um, what we want to is go to Luke chapter 4, and this is in verse 31. He went down to Capernaum, a city in Galilee, and was teaching them on the Sabbath. They were astounded at his teaching because they spoke with authority. It says this in verse 33, in the synagogue, there was a man, a man, single person, a man who had the spirit of an unclean demon and he cried out with a loud voice, let us alone. What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God, but Jesus rebuked him saying, be silent and come out of him. So here we see another example of a single person with multiple demons who the demons refer to them as plural. So I'm asking this question. How can you as a single person refer to yourself as a, something plural? You would never say, we for yourself. You would never say us. You would never say they, them. You wouldn't refer to yourself like that. You would refer to yourself as I, a single person. But yet, we have people now referring to themselves as something plural, which how can you be plural if you're a single person? These examples in scripture they had multiple demons in them and the demons referred to themselves as plural. So I know that this is controversial. I know this isn't something anybody wants to hear. I'm just showing you that in scripture, these single people had demons and the demons referred to themselves as plural. So my email address for your comments or please comment below, message WPS at gmail.com. Armor up, we ride at dawn. May God bless you as always. Have a great day.